So today I'm going to show you how to vibe code an app from scratch. So this will work even if you're a complete beginner and I'm just like you, I've never wrote code in my life. And by the end of this, you're going to be able to build a working app of whatever your dream desire. And I'm going to show you how to do this on multiple platforms, mainly because there's a few different ways you can do it, but they all require natural language. So it's a little bit more complicated version. We're going to use Claude, but they all require natural language. So the first version we're going to make is on GPT-5. And how you do this is you go to this little plus button here, you go down to Canvas, and this allows you to create apps inside here. Now, bear in mind, you can preview this app inside GPT-5, but to actually launch it, you would then want to take the code and put it into something like Cursor, but don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do that later in the video. Don't let it go over your head. Honestly, it's super simple, super easy to do, and I promise you, you can start vibe coding today and become a vibe coding expert. We're going to be a little bit fun with this because most people do these videos and they make like apps for like, I don't know, for figuring out what insects are, which I think is pretty boring. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a music app and I'm not a DJ, but this is a pretty fun app to make. So have you guys ever heard of Fred again machine, uh, Fred again, not Fred again machine, it's called Fred again, but he uses this little machine like this. Um, so basically we're going to build this as an app inside GPT-5. We're then going to build it inside Manus, which is another general agent app. And then we're going to use Claude Code. And now this is what people get a little bit scared of sometimes, Claude Code, because this looks the most like a code in terminal, but it's actually pretty simple once you get it. So a little bit more difficult than the rest. That's I'm going to show you the easy versions first. And then we're going to have that run in the background. And we're going to figure out which one makes the best version of this. So this machine, let's figure out what it's called. I think it's called a... It's literally called like machine, it's called an NI machine plus, this is it. So this is the machine we're gonna make. So we're gonna to go to chat GPT-5, select, make sure Canvas is selected on, and we're gonna say, I want you to create me a web app of a NI machine plus that will play AI generated garage beats. So super simple, like people are actually shocked by how easy it is to make apps these days. Like that is the most simplest prompt you could think of. I want you to create me a web app of an NI machine plus that will play AI generated garage beats. It must look like the real thing with colored buttons. It's going for the American version as well, colored buttons. I'm doing this very simply, but with this thing, you can be as in-depth as you want with these prompts and you can go into specific features or if you're not sure how to do this or how to even design an app, you can go to ChatGPT, open up a new chat, ask it to act as a prompt engineer. You're going to give it your, your prompt for what your app is and then it's going to improve it for you because no one knows better than AI how to speak to AI. So that is just like the little cheat code of getting the best answers possible to build this thing. So we've got this running. I just want to sh quickly show you the terminal. So it should open up the terminal in a minute. But while this is running, we're going to go to Manus and I'll leave links to all these below. But Manus is like a general agent. This was like GPT-5 Canvas before Canvas even existed. And I was playing around with this thing in the past to build websites almost instantly. And we're going to port exactly the same prompt into this. So we're going to go back to, so we're going to copy and paste this. And you can see what, by the way, what this is doing. So ChatGPT-5 is opening up a code in terminal. So it's writing all the code out to build this thing. And then once it's ready, we can preview it and actually test this thing inside GPT-5. So as you can see, we've not wrote any code yet. We're just gonna let this run in the background because this might take a few minutes. I think I've tried this before with another app. It took like two, three minutes. Um, so let's go to Manus and build the same thing. So we need to grab this prompt here. We're gonna go to Manus and we're gonna go to web app. I'm just gonna close this off. Um, and then we're gonna let this run in the background. And now we have another one. So we have Lovable. So you probably heard of this one. This is probably one of the easiest to use by far, and this has already got built into it quite a good UI, which means like user interface or the way it looks basically, the aesthetic of it looks pretty sick. But the only problem with something like Lovable is that it's very expensive to use. I think it's like, first of all, it's like a 20 pound a month membership, which don't get me wrong, you know, you have to pay for Manus as well, but you can get a lot of free credits. And GPT, you know, is like $20 a month, but yeah, I think everyone has this at this point. But Lovable, I actually found I run out of credits pretty quick with this thing. But we're just going to drop the same prompt in and we're going to run that in the background. Now we're going to go to Claude Code. Now Claude Code, I know it looks a bit scary right now because it's, and I was scared of it at first, but I promise you, you know, it's just the same as GPT-5, but with this more like code looking layout, but we'll figure it out together. Don't worry. Don't be getting scared. But I will leave a cheat sheet on how to set this up. You do have to obviously pay for a premium Claude subscription for this. Um, but you know, if you don't like it, just cancel it. You know, no one's going to come after you. And I've got this cheat sheet here. So put the, together this Google Doc and how you do it. So you just copy and paste these commands 
into your terminal, you press enter, and then it's gonna run you through the steps and set this up for you. But we're gonna copy and paste the prompt that we used in Manus, um, and sorry, in GPT-5. So we're gonna take this again. I'm gonna to go to Claude. Um, let's see what this thing comes up with. Now I found that Claude tends to take the longest to respond in terms of it thinks through it longer, but you know, I've heard this one is the best. I've not built too much with Claude yet. So this is actually an interesting experiment to run. So let's see where we're up to. So, so far GPT-5 has wrote hundreds of lines of code, it look, code it looks like, and it's still going. Um, so let's check on Lovable. So Lovable is still going, and you can see here what it's done. So it has laid out an outline of what it's gonna build. So it's gonna create a web app that mimics the native instruments machine plus for professional music equipment aesthetic, featuring four by four grid colored, design inspiration from the real machine, LED illuminated pads with vibrant colors. So this is looking pretty promising and lovable. And I do lean towards this one just for pure simplicity because we're complete beginners to this game. And this one is the simplest because if you're building anything, if you don't know what an API key is, it just means so an app can talk to another app through an API key. And with Lovable, you can just directly drop the API key in and it does all the back end for you. You can do this with Claude as well, but it's a little bit more complicated in terms of you might need to set certain files up. Um, but let's check on Manus. Manus by far, I think, would take the longest out of all of them. Okay, so GPT-5 has now finished. So let's have a little look at this thing. And you know, it might not be perfect straight away, but I can guarantee it's gonna be pretty good if it works. So let's hopefully it works, fingers crossed guys. So we it's installing the packages, so let that run. Okay, so <laughs> let's put the sound on for this one. Okay, so this is pretty pretty cool. I don't actually, this is actually a stupid idea to me because I don't know how to use it. Oh, it doesn't seem to be playing sound anymore. Okay, so it seems to be broken, but this looks how it should look, to be honest. Oh, start, okay. Let's slow this down a bit before we absolutely redline the mic. So I don't actually know how to use this machine, but I think this sounds pretty cool. I can imagine this is what Fred again uses. I'll drop a little video of what Fred again actually does with this thing. <laughs> Which is pretty insane. But this would be useful. Oh, okay. We're getting a beat together now. Okay. I think we... Whoa. I think we just made a beat in seconds. Okay, enough of that. That's probably sending everyone's head west. But let's see if this thing has run. Do you want me to create... So this... What I would recommend with Claw Code as well is select the second option where it just lets you edit it. Otherwise, it's going to require you to keep pressing yes, confirm, yes, confirm. So just put yes, allow all edits during this session. Let that run. Let's go and check on Lovable. And Lovable seems to have created something. Now, the interface on this doesn't seem as good, but can you see the difference in terms of the way it actually builds things right now? So Lovable is more of a user-friendly version, but I can say, you know, with all my heart that GPT has got so fucking good now that this is one of my favorites by far because everyone knows how to use ChatGPT. You know, it's super simple to use. So let's try this one, Lovable. Doesn't seem to be playing any sound, let's press play. So it looks like it's doing the job, but it's not actually playing any sound. So I'm gonna figure out what the issue is with this dubstep. So all we're gonna say, if we ever get an issue with any of, you know, what we're using, we, we literally just say to it, we say, it's not playing any sound, fix it. So let's see what, if it figures out there's an issue with it or not, or maybe I've muted it. No, definitely not. So some sort of issue with this one. Okay, so that's gonna fix that in the background. So let's go and check on Manus. So Manus is still going. This thing is taking a while. It's pretty clunky and slow at this point, but this used to be one of the best tools. And what I will give to Manus and why I would definitely recommend it. And you can see it's actually, so it's researching what they look like, or it seems like it's actually built the app so far. Oh yeah, it has built some of it. So this is what it's looking like over here. But Manus is amazing for designing websites for free. So a little side hustle idea for you. Go on Manus, if you've got a client or a web design client, go on there, get it to design the website for you. And then you can go and put that and host it on a, on a platform like Frame or something like that. You can just export the file that it made. Cause I actually made my company's website for one of my e-commerce companies on this. And then it was absolutely amazing. It would have cost me, you know, like a hundred to 500 to a thousand pound to design. Design it for free on Manus pretty much. 
and then I give it to a Shopify developer to just put it into Shopify. Um, but this should be finished soon. And let's check if Lovable has fixed it. So you see, as you can see, you get, I'm on the free version here, but the credits run out pretty fast. So let's test this thing. So this seems to not be working still, but I think, you know, Lovable tends to be more of like a, it's more of a show than actually working on the back end. So it does look pretty good, but as I said, it's not really working. So that's a little bit disappointing. So in terms of this experiment, Lovable has failed, but this is still very good for getting amazing aesthetic looking mock-ups your apps. Let's go and see what Claude has come up with. So we're gonna say, so it seems to have made it. I'm just gonna say run and open this app. Let's see what it does. I should probably put this on full screen for you, but so it's gonna run it in a local serve, which means it's just gonna run it on my machine. So we're gonna back out of this. Yes, proceed. Okay. So Claude has done a very good job of this, I would say. And we can play with the volume. Uh, does this work? Okay, them buttons don't seem to work. And we don't have the option to change the BPM. Okay, I like the sound of that. So this is very good so far. Okay, I'm going to stop that because that is absolutely top butcher for anyone listening. So far, I'm going to say GPT and Claude have come out the best. We've not actually seen the bit. Okay, so now we have Manus's version. So let's have a little look at this. So we're going to open it up. So let's have a little tester. Do we need to publish this? Let's just publish it and try it out and visit. Let's see what Manus has made. So this looks pretty good. It's obviously not as aesthetic as the other ones, I would say. But I would say this is pretty good, to be honest. And we've got a lot of options here. Don't know what they mean. Again, very stupid idea to build something I don't even know how to use. Or my DJ friends. I do have a few DJ friends that are probably thinking, just press that or do that. But this looks pretty good. I'm going to give it to Manus with this one. I quite like this. We can play with the volume, the tempo. Let's do some sampling. I'm not sure. Drum reflection. Okay, so we're making a song. Okay, let's see if we can do anything with it. Ooh! I'm very impressed by Manish's so far. Okay, and now I'm gonna stop that. But that's pretty good. I'm gonna say that's pretty close because this does have a lot of functionality that the other ones don't have. But, you know, I hope this will give you an idea of how easy it is to actually build apps using these platforms. Now, I know it's only a short video because it literally does not take that long to use these things. People think I need to go and do a course about vibe coding and everything like that. Yes, if you want to launch these things, what you could do is you could ask Claude or something to export the code file and then you can host it on something called Vercel, which is where anyone can use it. Then Vercel is just like a hosting platform for apps. So I'll just show you this quickly and you can get the code. You can launch it on Vercel and then anyone can visit this and have a little play around with it rather than it being run locally so this is local you would say so the way it says local host is basically run on my machine other people can't get access to them unless i share a link with them which i think weirdly actually with manis i might be able to possibly share this link with people i don't think because it says local you can't share it but what you can do as well if you don't understand if you want to understand the code that it's written here you can open it up inside something like cursor so cursor is just another code editor and it can help you understand the code a little bit better. But honestly, when you've got cool code, I don't see much of a need for Cursor anymore because you can do everything that Cursor does without the clunkiness of Cursor. But I find it a little bit clunky the way it has. I don't really, when it opens up files and stuff like this, I find it a lot easier to use other stuff. But as you can see, we could drop the code into Cursor here and in natural language, it's gonna explain what's going on on the side there. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. You know, have a little play around with it. As you can see, the best option so far, are definitely Claude, GPT-5, and Manus has done pretty good on this experiment as well. So I'm very impressed with Manus, and you know, I do actually like them quite a lot. So if you want more videos like this, showing you how to build apps quickly, then, or you want any other type of video, drop it in the comments and I'll make it for you guys because this channel is for you guys. You know, it's not for me. But, you know, maybe one day I'll get paid from this because I do really enjoy it. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.